What's going on, y'all? It's Sid Brent back with another video on the Miata. Um, today is something simple. We're just doing some spark plugs. And got my spark plugs right here. Um, this car is not turbo right now. So I'm doing the BKR 5E11 NGK V Power um, spark plugs. If it was turbo, I'd do a you know seven heat range BKR seven E, but that's what's in here right now. I need to change them out. They're starting to um, blow out the spark under acceleration and just regular cruising. So it's been a while. Time to change them out. Um, but all we're gonna need for this job is a five eight socket this is a spark plug socket that probably will not grip not one of these spark plugs uh, an extension ratchet uh, my spark plugs obviously um a gapper they say they come pre-gap but I always gap mines you know just to check and make sure it's right and a magnet since like i said <laughs> my spark plug um socket probably will not grip not one of these spark plugs all right but first off pull a boot take care socket and extension drop it down on there and start getting them out Like I said, <laughs> it did not pick up that spark plug at all, but the magnet goes down in there, gets it right up. All right, so we got our new spark plugs. I'm gonna open them up. Um, the recommended gap for spark plugs on a 96 engine. My car is a 90 um, chassis, but it has a 96 engine. I put it in a while ago. But for the 96 engine, the recommended gap is 0.0. .0 Four zero up to zero point zero four four inches, and these NGKs are supposed to be pre-gapped. So let's check out the gap on this one and see where it's at. Okay, so it's right at zero point zero four. One, two, zero point zero four two, which is right in the middle of where we're going. So this one's great. Back that off. And I'm gonna just check all four of them to verify um, that they're where we want them to be at. Yep, they're all at 0 0.042, which is great. So now we can go ahead and put these in the car. As far as putting these spark plugs back in, um, you're supposed to put anisees on the thread to keep it from seizing in the head, but I ain't got none, forgot to get it. So I'm just put it in without it. I'll 
I pray it's gonna be okay. Um, <laughs> so the torque spec for these from the factory, I'm gonna just drop this one in the back. The torque spec for it is 11 foot pounds up to 17 foot pounds. So dead in the middle is 14, which is what I'm gonna put it at. I got a torque wrench that reads inch pounds. So 14 foot pounds in inch pounds is 168 inch pounds. So I'm torquing them to 168 inch pounds. So what you wanna do, like I just did, drop it in and make sure the threads are facing down. So make sure these are facing down when you drop it in. And then do not put a ratchet on yet. Take your socket and your extension, get it on top of it and do it by hand first. So when you do it by hand, you are guaranteeing that you're not cross threading this head because the last thing you want to do is cross thread a head. It is horrible. Do not do that to yourself. But once you get it in as much as you can with your hand, then take your wrench and put it on there. does not have to be no monstrous amount of torque. All right, so put my boot back on now. Boot and wire. There we go. And now for the rest. 